Today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely storage baskets and I've got a couple of different designs here. This one that has the fabric coming over the front and a nice little bow on the front there and then this one that is lined inside and has a plaited edge around the top outside edge. So for the main part of the basket I've used a Besh craft wood but you can use any sort of craft wood you have and I've used a 1.5mm 1/16th of an inch thick wood or a sturdy cardboard or mount board but you want something that's quite sturdy so that when you wrap the cord around it isn't going to sort of cave inwards and then you'll need a 1mm thick waxed cord and I'm using this lovely coffee colour that comes in various different shades and it's available to purchase in my Etsy shop so I'll pop a link to that below. You'll need some fabric for lining your basket, some cotton if you're going to do the one with the bow, a pair of scissors and some glue. So I'm using my Gorilla Wood glue but you could use um, any PVA that you have. Okay let's get started. OK, so I'm not actually going to be giving measurements for this because obviously you can make it in any size you want and these are really versatile so you can make them to go um, inside a unit as I'm doing here or on a shelf or you can make them quite large and have them as um, a laundry basket so really you can do so much with them once you know the basic technique but I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, measurements if you're making them to go inside a shelf as I'm doing here um, with this kitchen sink unit so if you're making the basket with the plait measure the width of the opening where you want them to sit and then you want to deduct a couple of millimetres because you want a couple of millimetres or one millimetre rather at either side when the basket's sitting in place and then a further seven millimetres or nine thirty seconds of an inch um, to allow for the thickness of the fabric and the cord and the plait. So measure the opening and then deduct nine millimetres in total well that's three eighths of an inch and then that's the width that you would cut the front of your basket. So the depth, again, if you're going to go right to the back of the unit, just deduct the sort of four millimetres to allow um, for the thickness at the back once you've added the plait. But I never do them actually as deep as the unit. I always do them probably sort of three quarters of the depth. And then you can put a little bit of wood in there as a stop so that that doesn't keep sliding to the back of the opening. And then again, your height. Um, you don't want to do it to the height of the opening, but just deduct a couple of millimetres or three thirty seconds of an inch from the height. So you've got a little bit of clearance there. So you're deducting nine millimetres, three eighths of an inch from the width of the opening and then a couple of millimetres, three thirty seconds of an inch from the height and then do them sort of to any depth that you want to go backwards if you've got quite a deep unit as I have here and then you can make a little stop to put in at the back but if you want them to go right to the back just deduct four millimetres or five thirty seconds of an inch from the depth of your unit and that will be the size of the little box that we'll make that makes up the basic structure of the basket. So we'll start off with the plaited basket. Okay so when you come to cut the pieces for your basket your front and back piece will be the measurements we've just spoke about so the width um, of the basket and plus the height you want it after you've made those deductions if it's going into a, a unit. The sides will then be the depth that you want it minus the thickness of these front and back pieces. So in this case I'm using 1.5 millimeter sheet or 1 16th of an inch so that's 3 millimeters or 1 8th of an inch and I would then deduct that measurement from the depth that I want my basket and then the base is the same um, depth as the side pieces so they line up there like that and then for the width of that piece it will be this measurement minus the thickness of these two pieces put together so again that three millimeters or one eighth of an inch 
and then to actually construct the main body of the basket begin by applying glue along each edge of the base piece and then attach your side pieces press them against the base keeping them as upright as possible carefully slide that along your worktop so it doesn't stick to the worktop and then just leave that to dry off for a moment so that we can then attach the front and back without this piece falling apart Okay, so once that piece has dried off enough that you can handle it without it falling apart, apply glue to each end, like that. pop that back down on your work surface and then you can attach the front and back pieces, making sure you've got a nice flush join at each edge. Like that, and then just carefully press that all together. And that piece can then be left to dry and this one here is completely dry and I then sanded it on all edges so you can hold it top down and bottom down like that and then you can do it on the sides as well and just go along in the one direction otherwise you'll round off the corners like that and I've already done this one and then that will give you a nice flush sort of box part Okay, we're now going to line the basket. So to work out the size that you need, take the height um, of the basket and then add on 10 millimetres or 3 eighths of an inch. And that just gives us a little bit then to tuck over the um, front and into the bottom of the basket. And then mark up your fabric. off like that and then to get the length of that lay the basket at the end leaving a little bit of a, a border and then just sort of fold it along like that and mark just a little bit of a border at the other end as well Snip that off and then keep that bit you're snipping off because that will be for to line the basket. And then I've got some glue here. And you want to apply the glue to the inside edge of the basket, so those inside side pieces. Spread it around inside. And then to just round the top outside edge, probably about five millimetres. 13 64ths of an inch like that and then take the fabric and lay it across um, centrally what will be the front of your basket that way we have the join at the back keep it nice and neat fold that round like that fold one part onto the back and then you can lay it down and just apply a little bit more glue to the flap at the back there. And fold that in. Squeeze the fabric together. Like that. And then you can tuck in those side pieces and at the same time fold in the front and back so you're getting a nice sort of pleat in there and then you can just go inside and press it against the edges of the box so that you're making it sort of nice and neat in the corners and things. If you're making a smaller basket you could always use the end of your pencil or the end of a paintbrush to go and press that in against the sides like that and then take in the little scrap if you have one just cut a piece that is the size of the inside of the basket like that 
and then just because it's easier to place inside with a pair of tweezers I just take hold of that in the tweezers apply glue and then just lay that into the bottom of the basket move it into position and then again you can press that down with your finger ok we're now going to apply the cord so hold the basket on the inside and apply glue around the outside edges so when you first start doing it it can be um, quite tricky to get going so if you just want to apply glue maybe around half um, or halfway up the box then you can start that way and then once you reach the top of the glue you can apply a little bit more but once you've been doing it for a while you'll be sort of whizzing round attach the cord at the back of your basket or what will be the back and sort of in the center like that and then just hold on to that bit with your thumb and work the cord around the box keep it flush with the bottom of the box that first round and then you want to come up just above the join there keep going around and you want to keep each round as close to the previous one as you can so there's no sort of gaps once you're done and I'm pulling it nice and tight and that's why I suggested using the craft wood rather than cardboard because you need to be able to pull it tight and cardboard would probably just sort of give way so keep going round and you want to try to cover as much of the sort of fabric as you can I think I'll just sort of snip it off there on that side so snip it off and then apply a little bit more glue to the end of the cord press that down and then press it all against the box and that can then be left to dry okay we're now going to make the plait so to measure the cord for the plait just wrap it around the box a couple of times so one two and then just do a little bit extra so probably about two and a half times around and that then gives you enough for the knots at the end each end of the plant then knot those together at one end and tight and then if you've got somebody to hold on to that for you that's great but if not I have this little plastic tray I'll put a bulldog clip on one end and then I just hook the knot into the end there like that and then I can do my plait but you don't have to use a tray, you could um, clip it onto the edge of your cutting mat or onto the edge of your desk or anything like that try to keep the plait nice and tight and even and then knock that off at the other end like that 
and then apply a bit of glue around the top of the basket that's the top outside edge and recovering a couple of strands of cord but the glue dries clear anyway so don't worry if you go over that like that and then again start in at the front of your basket lay the plait across centrally press it down to level with the top of the basket and then wrap that round around the other side as well it will sort of move around until the glue begins to take so just keep pressing it into place and then you can snip off the first end in the middle of the basket just quickly apply a little bit more glue so that the ends don't unravel and then press that down and sort of bring that over and trim that off just in front of that piece again before the plait has a chance to unravel press it down make it into a nice sort of straight join You can use a cocktail stick to remove any sort of blobs of glue that you can still see. Make sure your plait's nice and straight before the glue is completely dried. And there's the first basket. Okay, we're now going to make the fabric basket and again I just wanted to talk about the sizing. So once you've added the fabric to your box, it adds an extra 2.5 millimetres to the width and that's 3 30 seconds of an inch. And then you want to think about just leaving a little gap at either side um, so that it's not too tight a fit. So in all, if you deduct 4.5 millimetres and in inches that is um, 3 sixteenths of an inch from the width that you want the box to be and that will give you a nice fit if you're putting that into a unit okay in this one we start off slightly differently we're going to begin by attaching the cord so again holding the box on the inside just apply glue probably two-thirds of the way up that and again start by attaching the cord at what will become the back of the basket wrap it around Again, keeping it nice and tight making sure each row is sitting nice and tight together as well and I think one more round and then once you've covered your glue you want to snip it off at the same edge that you started on so you've got both joins hidden at the back there so just snip that off apply a little bit of glue to the end of the cord and stick that down press all the fabric to the box and then before the glue is dried you can press the sort of rounds closer together if you need to if there's any gap in And then to measure for the fabric, this time you want the height of the box again, that's the fabric that will go inside, and then this um, uncovered piece here, and then you want to add on about 12 millimetres or about half an inch, and that way we've got a bit of a hem to fold over 
along the front edge. So again, mark up your piece of fabric for the height of the basket. And again, measure going along, leaving a little border at the start and finish. Keep the off cut for the basket lining. And then this time we want to fold over a hem. So about the thickness of this front piece here. And I like to crease that into the fabric first. like that and then you can glue it down like that that piece can then be left to dry so once you've allowed enough time for the glue to dry we're going to do our bow so fold the fabric in half like that to find the centre and then just um, cut off a length of cotton probably about to elbow length thread it onto your needle I'm just using single thread to do the bow and then go through both sides of the fabric quite close to the bottom of the hem through like that and then start to sort of tie the bow Just do it as small as you can. And sort of holding on to the centre, pull the ends of the bow to make the bows smaller. And sort of have a look at it. And then you can pull the ends a little bit more. And then tighten the bows and just sort of keep going until you've got a nice small um, bow. And if the cotton twists round you can use a cocktail stick to sort of straighten out the bow. Like that, just go a little bit smaller on that one. Check that both sides are even, that you're happy with the size. And then you can snip off the ties, just so they're hanging a little bit below the bottom of the fabric. And then you can just apply a tiny little bit of glue to hold the bow into place. So put a little bit behind each bow. And then you can use your cocktail stick just to put that into a nice position on there. Pull that one in a little bit further. Press that down. And there's the little bow. And then apply glue to the outside edge of the box above the cord. And then to the inside edges of the box again. So 
spread it around evenly. Like that. And then make sure you're at the front of the basket and attach the fabric so it's sitting just above the cord and so that your bow is right in the middle. Like that. And then press the fabric down, making sure there's no gap in between the cord and the fabric. Press it down at the back like that. Pull the fabric around and again apply a bit of extra glue to the flap at the back. Stick that down, press the edges together and same thing again, sort of tuck all that inside and fold the front and back flaps in. And then just sort of get your fingers in there and make it all nice and neat. Pulling it down so you've got no sort of ridges around the top edge of the box. If you ever sort of mess it up and you've got creases on the outside, you can just pull the fabric up again, apply, apply a little bit more glue and have another go. Like that. And then... Lastly, just cut that line in again for the inside. Tweezers again. And then lay that into the bottom of the box. like that. Okay, so two slightly different styles of basket there. Both equally as lovely, I think. Equally as easy to make. I hope you've enjoyed this project. If you do decide to have a go at a basket, do come and share your photos in my Facebook group. I'll put a link below to my Facebook page, Little Bits and Pieces by Julie, and you'll find a link there to the group to request to join. There's so many different things you could do with these, different coloured fabrics and uh, cords that you could use. If you have enjoyed the project, please do give the video a like, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so, as there's lots more projects to come. And if you enjoy making your own doll's house miniatures and furniture, you might like my books. I've published four of them so far, and they're all available to purchase from Amazon. I'll put links below, but you can just search for Julie Warren over on Amazon and that will find them for you. And for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.